Hi, welcome. We're now going to look at the teacher writing toolkit, specifically the mini review. So let's tap on the teacher writing toolkit. You'll be familiar now with daily, weekly scribe and festival scribe. What is the mini review? So let's tap on the mini review. The mini review has been designed as a series of a narrative and persuasive writing micro moment lessons for you to assess your students' work. And we're going to have a look at what that actually means. If you're looking for a quick insight to how your students are going, this is going to be really helpful for narrative and persuasive. So let's look at one here, a narrative writing assessment for year eight. You can see that it's designed in such a way that we're giving you a rough idea of the age group. We're going into a picture prompt. There's the outline of the writing task. You'll notice here that it can be downloaded so you can actually allow your students to use this digitally or physically as a printed resource. We then provide other picture prompts that are relative and related to the activity so that you've got multiple ways for the students to access and relate to the topic at hand. And then we've got the 10 essential writing skills that we've mapped out here being audience, text structure, ideas, vocab, persuasive devices, cohesion, paragraphs, sentence structure, punctuation, and spelling. So effectively, you can look at these 10 writing essential skills across this particular activity and look at making comments and assessing that using one of our tools and to keep the response, so the sample of work, make comments and also give a rating on a scale of one to five for each of those writing elements or potentially just one or two because that's your core focus. Each one also comes with a scaffold, a writing plan to support the students in their planning for that response. So this is designed as a 20 minute to 40 minute activity to give you a really deep insight to how your students are going in this particular area of writing. You'll notice that your students can actually type a response or alternatively they can upload or you may choose to upload the responses because they're younger students. And the benefit of that is you're keeping the sample piece of work and that will follow that child in their portfolio for the rest of their school career at your school. So it becomes a really insightful, powerful tool to see the learning journey of that child. So what you can actually do is then set this activity and you simply select all the students that are in your classroom. We've talked about how to set that up before and you may choose just one or two. Um, that then gets sent to the student, they respond, and you get to go through all of those other tools that we've talked about before, which is how you review, respond, and create an actual result for that student based on the feedback that you've seen or the sample work that you've seen in here. So we are in the find and set. I just encourage you to look at the filter by tag, which means you can really look at the age group and the type. Uh, you might have students that have clearly got differentiation and you might look at different age groups or um, levels for different age groups. The age here is an indication only you know your students best, you know where they're at and the journey that you want to take them on.